Hello guys, hello hello and welcome in a new video. Today we're gonna talk about some hybrid map and we're gonna talk about this sieve that is actually Omega broken in the game right now. But before this, let me talk a bit about why I wasn't posting that much video and I wasn't super active on Twitch and YouTube recently because I had some things in real life that was not super cool to deal with. But I didn't just deal with this and didn't do anything. I played some tournaments and also I built an entire new setup. I kept my whole computer, my whole PC because it was good enough. But before I had like a band micro, I had like only one screen, a little desk, little chair, like it was not professional at all and not the best, not the most efficient way to stream so i decided to rebuild everything so now i have like a double screen i have a little stream deck a new keyboard new chair new micro by the way don't hesitate to give me some feedback about the the mic the the sound like is it good is it bad could i improve some things so yeah but that's gonna be a lot of things coming up on youtube also on twitch uh in the coming days so that's gonna be super cool with a uh, a lot of new stuff it's gonna be insanely cool so yeah today we're gonna talk about hybrid maps and about this sieve i made a video on the this the same sieve actually it was the same sieve but if you think georgians because we're gonna talk once again about georgians if you think georgians is op on arabia with the build loader i made on my past video you can check it up by the way if you think georgians was OP on Arabia, wait until you see them on hybrid map, because actually, this starts with a free mule cart, plus the fact that they can that the cavalry regenerates HP passively is insane. By the way, recently they increase the passive heal of the cavalry. I'm not sure why, but that, that's crazy for me, but they did it, so... We have to take this into consideration. So they upgrade, they buff Georgians even more. And so they are better on Arabia for the build I made on the last video. If you want to check up, to check check that. And why on hybrid maps they are even better. Okay, let's go on the the best hybrid map, or at least the most known one, which could be which should be a uh, four lakes. Uh, where is it actually? Let me check that. Four legs, four legs. Am I blind or what? Uh, four legs, okay. Let's go into the game and I'm gonna show you why is it so broken. I'm gonna explain why I'm playing because it's Dark Age and I'm supposed to know how to, be, to make the Dark Age. So, as always, you go for double houses. But look at this. This mule cart is such an OP unit. You start with a free mule cart as a bon as a sieve bo as, as a bonuses, sorry. So that's actually insanely good. Uh, little misclick there, but it's all 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 good. So the idea is you don't have to build a lumber camp. Look at this. I have 150 wood, and I can go for a dock super early actually. That's the OP part of this. Like I don't need to stack some wood in my bank. I can go straight for a dock. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to lure my board fast, so I don't need to to put too many vills on food on my TC because the boar meat is being gathered faster actually. I can go with 5 on the boar and then I go on the, on the wood instantly. And with another sieve, let's say you are like generic sieve, you need to wait to have 150 wood to go for the dock. But there that's different because you already have the wood. So you can go for a dock. So you just need to wait to have enough for a fishing ship, which is 75 wood actually. So we're just gonna wait for this. And then I'm gonna show you why is it so broken. So you see I'm sued at 100 at 75 wood for a fishing ship. Plus the price of a, a dock. I'm gonna stay with five on food. Oh, five on food is good. Good enough, and then I can go for the dog right away. Like, look at this. 10 population, and I'm already going for the dog. 
That's actually so, so, so broken. It's like the whole Lithuanians, it's the whole Lithuanians on this map. When Lithuanians used to have like more food at the beginning of the game and you could go for the wood instantly. It's like all Lithuanians were even better because there you have like wood for free. And having wood on an hybrid map is like having extra wheels, right? Because your fish are extra wheels already. So this is absolutely so broken. So I can go for an extra, it says I can go for a fishing ship right away. And that's absolutely so good. I, I will stay on 5 on wood. I could put 6. But the idea of this build order is to have like an insane economy at the beginning of the game. Thanks to the fish. But we don't want to suffer too much. Because most of the time when you play hybrid map. You're going to play versus Lithuanians. You're going to play versus Japanese. So see if that can... Japanese can go for a crazy Minotaur for example. Lithuanians should go... Uh, with a fast up time as well and with Georgians we want to use our uh, economic early bonus to have like an insane economy plus have the initiative in the map I think the initiative is so cool it's so easy to play can you can you move please thank you this game uh, and that's what we're gonna use we're gonna use the economic bonuses at the early game plus the fact that we regenerate HP so we're gonna play scout why this is even more broken on this map than on Arabia? Because you have more villagers working on food. As we saw with this build order, you have more villes on food earlier thanks to the dock. Plus, you can click super early. Look at this. I will go for a 17 villager build order with 4 fishing chip, mule cart economy. And I can just trade with my scout non-stop because my scout regenerated HP. This is actually Omega Walker. Like you cannot lose with Georgians. You literally cannot lose. Oh, I cannot click up. Okay, it was a bit ambitious maybe. I should have pushed there. But that's fine. I go for 18. 18 is still super early for a dog build. It's still super fast. So we're going to go for 18, which is totally fine. We force drop there, we force our drop, we click up. And there we're gonna stay on one lever camp. Why do we stay on one lever camp? Because thanks to the mule carts, like usually you need to, you want to go for two lumber camps because the, the your villager will cut a lot of trees and little by little they will be far from the lumber camp. But thanks to the mule cart, you can just move your lumber camp and always be super close to it. So you don't need, you don't need to have that much build on wood. So what's the next step? The next step is going to be to send the, a ville to dock elsewhere to expand our economy advantage. And we're going to go for five fishing ships in our own lakes. We don't need to have more. Like five fishing ships is already insanely... It is a lot actually. Like the idea is if you build too many fish, at the end of the day, they're going to... Uh, they're going to... The, the lake will be empty super fast. And that's not what we want. Because if the lake is empty too fast then you will have to build some fish traps or to like transition into something else that's why it's better to just expand on another lake so we just gonna go for a second dock so we can expand right away we are preparing our build for the second dock and we're gonna go for a stable water way up we force up a bit the wood line you stay there and so we're gonna be ready for the for the stable, there we go. 18 pop loom. I think we can go with 17 with 4 on wood, but maybe it's better 18 loom. 5 fish and ship, like 5 is a lot. Usually it's like 3 or 4 maybe. There it's 5. Stable, barracks, second dock. So you, you, so you will have an insane economy because you have 2 dock. This one with 5 pink and fish and ship, which is insanely, which is so good. You will have another dock building fish and ship. Plus, you will have scout that regenerates HP like constantly in the map. So you have a good economy. So it's like most of the time on Age of Empires, you need to choose. Do you play an economical approach? Do you play an economic approach? Do you play like an army approach? Do you want to play aggressive? Do you want to play passive? And most of the time, if you are getting good to the games, you will, you will realize that your sieve Will decide, will decide for you if you play aggressive, if you play passive, etc. Georgians, 
can play aggressive and boom at the same time. And at the end of the day, your scout can just... Let's say you fight, you lose some HP. The low HP scout, you can just bring in it. You just bring him to home and you can just heal up and chill. That's the idea. You go for some gold. If your opponent, how do you adapt? If your opponent duck into your lake, then you stay, you make your, uh, you make your, uh, your stable, but your second duck, you're going to build it in your own lake and you're going to send some wheels on gold early. So you will fight to defend your own pond. That's the idea. And then you will fight with some fire plus you will have some scout on the field and if your opponent uh, went all around your base to sneak duck in your lake he will have a really weak economy his economy is gonna be really weak because he cannot do everything basically if you are facing men at arms japanese that's cool because your scout heals passively so you can just like trade non-stop you trade you go back you trade you go back you can add some spears and then look at my economy. It's insane. Okay, I stopped to play like for a minute, but look like look like that. Just a minute. I stopped to play for a minute and I have like 600 wood in the bank. So much food, I can go up already. So if your opponent is going for a main attempt into archer, you do the same build order, second dock. But you go for an archer, archer range really fast as well. The idea is... You can fight as long as you want in Feudal Age. Why? Because your Feudal Age army is insane because your Skull heal passively. That's one of your main bonuses, right? So, full Feudal is not a problem for you. Going Castle Age fast is not a problem for you. Playing passive is not a problem for you because you have an insane start and you have an insane build order. You have the initiative early thanks to this build order and you can do whatever you want. This sieve is the best sieve because you can play the way you want, you can dictate the pace of the game, you can decide when to take fight, where to take fight, you can have the vision of what is doing your enemy, be thanks to the initiative, and behind all of that, you have an insane economy. That's why this sieve is by far the most OP sieve on, on any hybrid maps in the game. And if you watch some pros tournament set with draft, Georgian will either be banned from by one of the opponent, either be first picked, because this sieve is so broken. The cool thing in the ladder though is that you don't need this because they cannot ban Georgian. So if you want to try out the ladder, if you want to try this, if you want to gain some elo points, playing Georgians is actually insane for you. You gonna like easily win 50, 100. Elo, thanks to this strategy, and I know that for most of you, hybrid maps are actually so hard to play. It's so complicated to play hybrid maps. Like it's so so complicated. You have to deal with two parts, with two economic parts, the economic part on the water, the economic part on the land. That's actually super complicated, super complicated to balance. So having a sieve that has early bonuses, that has the initiative, is actually really cool for you as well to discover the map and to be able to feel more confident little by little on this map so yeah that's it hybrid map pick georgians and win the game that's the idea okay that was it for me guys a little build order a little guide uh, not too much editing on this one but i will have an editor soon so soon i will have a lot more editing videos so keep an eye on that it's gonna be a lot of fun and yeah that's it for me see you guys enjoy your new build order on hybrid maps and see you soon. Bye-bye, guys.